Hello, welcome to Women in Action podcast and on today's episode I'm talking to Darren Meredith who is a Canva specialist and educator. Um, He'll tell you a little bit more about what Canva is but if you are a speech therapist who's working in schools or clinics and you're struggling to get sort of resources together for your different clients maybe you're in hospital you want to get sort of age appropriate resources if you're working with adults or teenagers and I should have turned this off (laughs) sorry about that um then you are in the right place so you can see this is going live (laughs) um so if you are a therapist who wants to have um up-to-date resources and ones that are suitable for your clients then um you'll really get loads out of this podcast so i'm going to bring on darren now hi hi darren lovely to see you lovely to see you too bev how you doing i'm all right yeah we're here live in facebook LinkedIn and YouTube. So uh, welcome to Women in Action. And uh, we're um, we're talking about things all creative today. Um, yeah. Tell me about what you uh, do, where, why you do it and uh, where you're from. So I'm based in Somerset in the southwest of uh, England, I'm originally from Wales. Um, but yeah, I'm down here now and enjoying the lovely countryside down here. And I'm a Canva verified expert. I was one of the first 20 Canva verified experts in the world. Um, that happened earlier this year. And my background is kind of in product management, uh, sorry, project management and process improvements. But I gave up that life to do something a bit more creative. I wanted to help business owners be more creative and create amazing content and so that's when I started using Canva and being part of the Canva community there I then started being a Canva creator so I actually create content directly on Canva that can be used by millions of users of Canva around the world. Wow. Gosh, (laughs) quite a prestigious title then being the first 20 yeah, um, I was quite, uh, only quite. twenty. Is that only? There are only twenty in the world. Is that what there you said? There are forty-one of us now. We've just recently added a few more globally. There's only three of us in the UK um, that are Canva verified experts. And we're all really good friends, um, which is really nice. And we all work together and kind of help each other out with trying to help our communities. And if someone's got a question, let's say. I can't answer. I'll go and speak to some of my Canva colleagues. I've got contacts that I speak to directly in Canva. So if there's something that isn't quite obvious straight away, I can always go away and find that. And it's just about helping business owners and educators to be able to create amazing, engaging content using Canva. And there are so many resources available in Canva that are created by, you know, creators like myself, but also actually qualified educators as well. So, Ah, so, I mean, to, I know about Canva because actually I use it for my business and I don't know whether other people do know about it. So just basically, if you could tell us what is Canva uh, and do you have to pay for it? And, you know, how, how do people, find out about it what exactly is it okay so canva is a graphic design software but it's really easy to use drag and drop graphic design software and you can also create video in there and animations and that side of things as well but it's a really easy to use graphic design software that has a library of thousands of elements that can be used and it is just literally it's so easy to use um yeah it, i mean so i mean when i found out you were an expert and i've been using it on my own you know just fumbling around trying to do <laughs> this and that um i wish i'd got to know you before but anyway um as a speech therapist yes how do you think canva could be used 
um, with speech therapists? So with speech therapists um, and having spoken to um, yourself and a couple of other friends that work on the education side, I think Canva can be used to create things like flashcards and interactive materials for um, your clients. Um, do you call them clients? I can't think Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah I mean, clients, so they yeah. might be in hospitals or clinics or schools or nurseries. So you have the whole range, you know, and sometimes, you know, when you when I use resources, I feel, oh, that's, you know, that's like a cartoon or it looks a little bit too childish for my teenage clients um, or my adult clients. And yeah. so it's finding resources that are, sort of age appropriate and look attractive as well and that's the fun with with the, the resources that are available on Canva. so you do have the cartoon kind of animals and that side of things but you've also got access to a library of millions of actual photographs and images so if you wanted to change the images from say a cartoon penguin for example to an actual image of a penguin to be more kind of age appropriate, I'd say, then that's something that you can do um, in Canva and you can just easily swap them out. So if you see something that has cartoon elements on it, you can then just swap those out with actual photographs and that side of things as well. Yeah, I mean, I've really... created things um, in Canva for my clients, you know, and um, they're really useful resources, you know, for just talking about, social situations um mm -hmm. or why things that have gone wrong or you know doing quizzes and things like that yeah. um so i was wondering um if you could explain to us whether it could be used for creating games and how how it could be used for creating games okay so there's a uh particular function in Canva called whiteboards which is really good and what that is it's a kind of like an unlimited canvas so it can be as big as you want it to be and on there you could kind of put elements that start with a particular sound for your clients um, you can create kind of like a collage um, or a game where you can you can share a link with the, per the other person so if they're not located next to you you could share a link with them and they can interact with that in live um in real time so you could say to them can you find you know the pirate on the island and if they click on the pirate on the island and they're using it's helping them use their mouse to then kind of move the pirate around can you move the pirate from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen so you can get them to do that kind of thing um yeah. you could play like a, a hide and seek game where if there's things hidden behind things so you can layer items in canva and you can easily move things around so um if it's laid over the top you could play kind of like a hide and seek kind of game i guess yeah yeah so and i think you've fun. also got something that's a little bit like powerpoint where you know if you did do a quiz and you thought um you had four possible answers and obviously one of them's right there's a way of kind of creating it so that um, you can guess which one it is. And if you didn't get it right, then something else happens. And if you did get it right, you get a different reward or something like that. You could you could do within Canva. Is that right? Yeah. So Canva's got a presentation option as well. So you can create presentations like you would with PowerPoints and clicking on the next slide and showing there that, you know, if you've got different options, if you go to the next slide, whether that option was correct or not. Yeah, yeah. that's really exciting. So, I mean, you could kind of make um, assessments as well as, as a speech therapist, sort of um, understanding comprehension kind of assessment or something like that. Um, yeah. yeah, so there's, it's got lots of possibilities. Now, I'm really excited that in January, I'm launching um, Maven Business Haven, which is my membership site for yes. therapists who are uh, starting out their own private practice or they're just thinking about doing it online and they want to get some resources where they could interact with clients online and um, I came and talked to you about it and um, you said you're going to put a masterclass together 
um, to, to help therapists use Canva. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, so in the masterclass that we're going to do in January, I want to be able to come on and if you're if someone's new to Canva, we'll start off really basic and show you kind of like how to move around Canva. And then we're going to look at how you can kind of get started with creating flashcards, maybe create a game to share with your clients and how you can find different resources within Canva in order to be able to use that as a tool to be able to then work with your clients with. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to dive in and work with your members on how that's going to work and be able to answer any of the questions that they've got on how Canva might work better for them or any questions they've got around using Canva. Um, it's something yeah. that I'm really excited to uh, to help with. Yeah, that sounds really exciting. And I know that, I mean, that is only an element of the kind of things that you teach, but um, you're at the moment, putting together your own course yes. um, for those who not are just starting up ones who also want to know a bit more do you want to yes. tell us a little bit more about that give us a bit of a teaser off your own course yes so uh, I like yourself I've been working on a membership but I've also got uh, a course I've just created a beginner's course so that's live on my website now and I'm also launching in January a new course, which is around using the video content creation side in Canva, how you can create videos for social media, using animations, how you can time your animations, how you can create animations and video for things like Facebook, Instagram. You can even do YouTube shorts and TikTok if that's something that you're on um you can use the video content creation tools in canva for all these different things and they've recently launched being able to time your elements better so there's a lot of new features always been launched in canva not just on the video creation side but on the actual document content creation side it's a constantly evolving program and that's partly why i enjoy helping people know about the new features that come out in canva as a kind of verified expert, I get to play about a lot of the time as a beta tester before it's released to the public. So by the time it comes out to the public, I've got a good understanding and I've worked sometimes with the Canva product team on kind of working on any bugs or anything else like that. So it's something that I'm really passionate about and being able to help with that side of things. And so, yeah, that's that's the, the video content creation course is something that's going to be launched in January. And then later in February, I'm going to be launching my own kind of membership area as well, where I'm going to be working with business owners on using Canva uh, to help them create great content for their audiences. Wow. Gosh, you're going to be really busy in January and February then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking two weeks off in December and that's it. <laughs> So um, I can I can see down below, if you scroll at the bottom, you can see that if you want to contact Darren and find out about his beginner's course, um, you can go off to uh, bettercontentcreators.com yep. and that's where they can find out about um, his beginner's course and keep an eye out for information about his, um, his membership that will be being launched very soon after. Yes. So uh, thank you, Darren, so much for coming on uh, my podcast. And if welcome. you want to know more about it, then all they have to do is head over to mavenbusinesshaven.com uh, forward slash podcast. And you'll be able to uh, watch the watch the podcast there as well as listen to it if you're taking your dog for a walk or something um and uh there will also be uh information in the show notes about what darren does and links that he has mentioned so uh until next week uh when we'll be talking about branding um i look forward to, um to speaking to you so thanks a lot darren take care thank you, very much. Thank you. bye bye, -bye.